Hi guys. So this week we have been talking about snails, slugs, and worms. Slugs, snails, and worms. And do you remember what each one looked like? If you don't, it's okay because I will show you. I can show you some pictures. I have I have some pictures of the um snails, slugs, and worms. So I'm just gonna share my screen with you so you can see them. All right, this right here, this is a slug. This is what a slug looks like. And a slug has um has the same body parts of a snail this is what a snail looks like right here so a slug is a snail basically without the shell so a snail has five parts it has a shell it has a head this is the head, it has a neck, and it has a tail, a hump, and a foot. The hump is up under the shell. And beside this snail, this is a snail and this is a snail. Beside the snail is a what? What is this? It's a worm. And do you remember how many hearts I said a worm had? We talked about it, I think a couple of days ago. They have how many hearts? Five hearts, they have five hearts, that's right. They have a head, a tail, and a body. And they just have two main ends, the, the head and the tail. All right, so today I thought that we could maybe draw together. We could draw, um, we could draw these things. So I'm going to use some white paper to draw. And I would love for you guys to send me pictures of you drawing your snails and slugs or worms. You don't have to draw all of them if you don't want to, but you can attempt to draw them all. I personally am a horrible artist, so we'll see how this goes. The first thing I'm going to draw is a worm. Would you like to draw a worm with me? I have my white paper and I have a marker. I will show you mine when I am done. Would you like to draw a worm with me? Let's try to draw a worm. All right, are you done? Are you done with your worm? Can I see it? Good job. All right, I'm gonna show you my worm. This is my worm. I tried. <laughs> this is my worm. All right, now let's try to draw a snail. Would you like to try to draw a snail? Remember, a snail has a shell on it. Can you show me a snail with a shell? And you can use any colors that you want. Here, I'll use a different color other than black. Have some fun. I'm gonna use orange and purple. Let's try to draw a snail, guys. And I would love to see yours when you are done. I'm going to show you mine when I'm done.
and you can make it however you want to. No one, everyone's art is different. No one's art is the same. Everyone is creative in their own way. But I'm gonna show you mine and I'm almost done. Are you almost done? I actually did a better job than I thought I was gonna do. Are you done? Can I see your snail? Oh, that is amazing. Would you like to see mine? You would? Here's my snail. This is my worm and this is my snail. All right, would you like to try to draw a slug with me? Do you remember what that looks like? Here, I'll pull it up one more time for you. This is a slug. Let's try to draw this. I'm gonna leave it up while we draw it. Let's try to draw it. I think I'm gonna do a green one. I think I'm gonna use green this time. Let's see if we can draw this. Let's see. I don't know, this looks kind of hard, but I think we can do it. I think we can manage. All right. I think I'm done. Let me see yours first and then I will show you mine because I don't know if I did this, if this looks anything like a slug. Let me see yours. Oh, that is awesome. You guys did awesome. Would you like to see mine? That's my slug. I drew a snail, a worm, and a slug. These are all the things that we've been talking about this week. That's right. And see, my, my worm has the head in and the tail in. And then my snail has the body and he has antennas and a shell. And then here's my slug. He doesn't have a shell. That is good. You guys, you guys did awesome. Give yourself a big clap for such for all your hard work and doing such an amazing job. All right. Well, I will see you guys next time. And I look forward to seeing your pictures of you drawing your snail, slug, and worm. See ya.